This is Nick Peters with Comcore's video blog, What Were They Thinking? The Pokemon Go craze, a kind of virtual scavenger hunt, seems to have caught everyone, including parent company Niantic, by surprise. And as with many surprises, some are good, some not so good. The good? Downloads of the interactive digital game are so massive, shares of equity partners have soared in value. For example, 30% stakeholder Nintendo's value alone has risen $11 billion since the game's launch. The bad? Well, there are the usual data privacy concerns for any interactive game. But more immediately, players have been injured while driving, falling off cliffs, walking into street traffic, or climbing over obstacles while searching for the game's virtual digital monsters. Some neighborhoods, houses of worship, museums, and other institutions have issued pleas not to have game players intrude on their premises. One plea in particular, a request by the Holocaust Memorial at Auschwitz to keep Pokemon Go players away from what it terms sacred ground, has generated thousands of supportive petition signatures. Public safety authorities have reported robberies after players found themselves set up while searching for the digital monsters to capture. To date, Niantic's only response has been to provide a web-based form on which to request exclusion. Quote, thank you for reporting this Pokestop gym. We will review and take appropriate action, unquote. And action by the company is neither automatic nor guaranteed. We will be watching to see how Niantic communicates with customers and stockholders if criticism and incidents continue to mount, even as the number of players does too. For Comcore, I'm Nick Peters. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter.